oh my goodness, this would be terrifying. Okay, so this person had posted this in the group and I was like, oh, they sold it for a thousand dollars and I was super excited to share it with you guys, but it looks like we got this for $2.50. Bought a new cord with lights for seven. So total $9.50 into it. Listed high, took a best offer of $574 plus 168 shipping. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. These items come from other resellers just like us, and they are all in my Facebook group. I posted this in the Facebook group. It says, share your best November bolo. And they commented. So I'm going to share with you their big money bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. This is my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go join. I will link it down below in the description. And look for the December share post under the featured announcements section. All right, let's get started with the first bolo. Found at the bins, which is the Goodwill outlet where you pay by pound. Paid less than 50 cents. After seeing Courtney's, aka Bolo Buddies, that's me, share about the goodie hair clips, I picked up these just in case these could be worth something. Took about a month to sell. These are a vintage 1989 goodie 10 hair doodles. What's a hair doodle? Ooh, that's what they look like. So over $25 plus shipping on Mercari. So I have not heard of a hair doodle. Now, what I can tell you is the stay tight clips, the ones that look like a faux tortoise shell that are three inches long, be on the lookout. Those go for big bucks. Um, I've also sold a goodie pick. I've sold other goodie things, summer bread and butter, summer big money, but all of them are definitely worth picking up for the right price. I bought on Facebook Marketplace an entire vintage sealed Barbies from 1980s for $900. About 40 Barbies plus loose dolls, furniture, and other toys. So I would say $20 or less for vintage Barbie 1982 Barbie McDonald's sealed. Barbie McDonald's sealed. Ooh. Sold for a best offer of 449 and positive feedback received. Thanks a lot. This is, um, looks like from Canada. Somebody in Canada sold this. So I don't know what that um, conversion is to US. Um, let's see. Yeah, it says 449. So I'm not sure. Does anybody know? All right, let's move on to the next one. Still a big money bolo regardless, even after the conversion, I'm sure. I found these at a barn cleanout tag sale in Connecticut, paid $20 and sold within 24 hours for $125. And it's antique stained glass panels, diamond Latisse. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful. I picked up this Thomas Blackshear's Wings of Innocent figurine off Facebook Marketplace for $6. Got it in a lot. Listed for $165 and took a best offer of $150. Sold within 24 hours of listing. So this is what it looks like. It is a limited edition first issue. Wings of Innocence. All right. Got this at my local Goodwill for $1.75. Sold on auction for $100. Less impressive than the $1,000 comp, but not bad. Okay, so this person had posted this in the group and I was like oh, they sold it for a thousand dollars and I was super excited to share it with you guys but it looks like he put it up for auction and it only sold for a hundred which is really unfortunate because in this situation here's what I would have done if I would have seen that this comped out at a thousand dollars that one sold for a thousand I would have started my auction at $999.99. And if it didn't sell, I would have put it up for a buy it now even higher, uh, probably at $1,500, ran my 30% off sale and sent offers to watchers and likers. But um, sometimes auctions are not the way to go. What I tell everyone is if you are going to do an auction, Put that auction at the lowest you are willing to take. And maybe they were happy with 100. Maybe 100 is what they hope to get out of it. 
But if I saw comps that high, I definitely, definitely would have uh, started that auction high. And that's what they said, auctions are unpredictable. I was given several totes of Beanie Babies for free and told to do what I wanted with them. Oh, the Beanie Babies. Let's talk about the Beanie Babies. This one might surprise you guys. Um, I actually saw this in the feed and asked them to please share it up under this post because I want to share it with you guys. Um, I know we talk about how Beanie Babies don't have any value. There are some out there that have some value, okay? Um, are there a ton? No. Do you have to know what you're looking for and kind of be like an expert? Yes. Um, this one's pretty cool. After significant research, I sent five away to True Blue Beans in Texas for authentic... Ah, I can't say this word. Authentication. I can say authenticate, kind of, kind of, to get authentic whatever you guys know what I mean anyway this is one of the beanies that was all oh, the word again authenticated. <laughs> I just can't say it I, I cannot say it I'm sorry guys um it just sold the other day only one remains from the five I had authenticated and listed for sale all have sold for north of 70 a piece it looks like this one is the Rex beanie baby third generation swing slash first gen tush tag. Whatever on earth that means. See what I mean? Like you really have to know. But this one sold for $215. So that's pretty darn good. Are these selling for $10,000? No. But can some of them still be a bolo? Yeah, I think $215 is definitely a bolo. I just happened to stop at a sale in an industrial park. My, let's see, the husband and wife had torn down homes for 30 years and she always cleared stuff out first. This was tucked on a shelf in one of the three buildings. Averaging the bulk out, it cost me 33 cents. Sold it for $95. It's a rare vintage Mattel Angel Bunny Cuddle King plush sealed in the box. This Bratz doll sold on Mercari for $120. I paid $4 at a flea market. After fees, I made about $90. This is what she looks like. There's no other information, so I don't know the name of the doll. You can take Google Lens and identify some of them, especially if they have on their original clothes. But um, yeah, some of the Bratz dolls can definitely do well. Also, Monster High. So... Empoli Glass Decanter paid $5 at a thrift store, listed it yesterday for $425 and woke up to two offers. I took the highest offer of $395 this morning. Buyer hasn't paid yet. A couple sold over the summer for $500 plus, but mine had a chipped stopper. The bottles alone sell for $200 plus. The last one, similar to mine, with a chipped stop stopper, sold in October for $385. We'll update with... We'll update when, if buyer pays. Buyer asked for extra time to pay. I said, okay, and they paid on Thanksgiving Day. Wow, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna read off the title. Rare Vintage and Pulley Icy Pink Hobnail Squat Genie Bottle Decanter with Stopper. So those are some great keywords there. Oh boy, here we go with this. This, uh, this name, this eBay store name, this is what it looks like. Muji Gujui. Should I get it right? Oh, I don't think I did. But anyway, this is her eBay store. I will link it down below. Found this deep in the Goodwill bins. Looked interesting, so I threw it in my cart. Two pounds, so $1.89 a pound, so less than five bucks. Listed it at 75 and took a best offer of 70. I love all things Egyptian, and this was amazing. Dirty, but amazing, and still sold for 70. Southwestern Shaman Sculpture, 19 inch, copper burlap wrapped rock crystal base. That's what it looks like. I bought this vintage Raylight electric light up musical church. It plays Silent Night at a thrift store for $1.99. It had no light cord. I picked up a light cord at this antique mall for a dollar and I sold it on Etsy for $62.
the woman who cuts my hair. <laughs> I always love Jerry's stories. The woman who cuts my hair knows I resell. She said she had a box of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that belonged to her kids. And did they have any value? I told her they most likely did. And I'd love to take a look at what she had. She said she had some other things there as well that she did not know what they were. She said I could come to look. And when I did, the other box was totally full of Lego Bionicles. I bought the whole lot for 30. She was happy for the price. I have been selling it off and I am hundreds of dollars into it, the profit. This set of two Bionicles sold on Mercari for 149 plus shipping. Yeah, I have done really well with Bionicles also. If you can um, identify them and they are complete, some of them, the older ones especially, can be a big money bolo. These are the ones he sold. And it looks like he's got um, Makuta and Takanovu. I don't know, the numbers are there also. So if you have the Lego set number, that really helps as well. So awesome bolo. Bought this at a live auction last November. Hubby found it in the way back with a bunch of silk flowers piled on top. It was buried under flowers. When it came time to bid on it, I was certain there'd be a fight for it. Apparently no one else thought to dig out of the flowers because we got this for $2.50. Bought a new cord with lights for seven. So total $9.50 into it. Listed high, took a best offer of $574 plus 168 shipping. Had original box with it and just Frankenstein boxed around an, another around that box. Sold in nine days. So it's a 1977 Empire Blow Mold Santa Sleigh to Reindeer from Carolina Enterprises and it works. So I bought it at a flea market stand running a half off sale for 15. Okay, so she got it for 15. I saw the sold comps were higher than what I listed, but the box was in rough shape and there were supposed to be little plastic stands for the birdhouses to sit on, but they were missing. So went lower with my asking price and the customer paid in full saying she had one as a kid and was going to replace it. Cha-ching. It is a Mr. Christmas Disney Mickey's Clock Shop Cuckoo Clocks Movement and Music Tested. This sold for $279.99. And anything Mr. Christmas, definitely look it up. This one doesn't scream Mr. Christmas to me because I see Mickey's. So I more see Disney when I look at this box. So definitely uh, look over those boxes. I picked this up at my local thrift store for $2.10. I could not find another one like it. I listed for what I thought was a high price. It sold within an hour, or I'm sorry, within a half an hour with five watchers. It sold for my full asking price of $279.99. I may have underpriced it, but I am thrilled with the profit I made. I carved a form out of styrofoam for shipping and held my breath. Ooh, yeah, this would be hard to ship. Thankfully, it arrived intact and I received positive feedback on as my buyer was thrilled. Don't pass up the glass. It takes a bit longer to pack, but it's worth it. Oh my goodness. This would be terrifying. If you guys don't know, like I do not like to ship breakables and this looks terrifying. Uh, Viking Rare Bleak. Blue, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you can see it in the title here. Vintage Glass Coral Tree Jewelry Ring Holder. $279.99. That is fantastic. Paid zero. Took a best offer of $55 the day after I listed. A lady gave this to my son at a garage sale and I told him we could probably sell this and I'd give him the profits. Before anyone judges me for selling something he got for free, he is nine and he is always giving me toys and things to sell when he doesn't want them anymore. I've been reselling since he was two. It's a vintage Lisa Frank all-in-one stationary pack, cat's pen, paper, and complete set. I'm guessing he probably really wasn't too interested in stationary. So um, there you go. It's Lisa Frank. Definitely a bolo. $55. Been working on cross-listing and have had this in my eBay store for a while. Cross-listed this and sold it on Poshmark for full asking price within a week. Picked it up at a thrift store for five bucks and sold it for 117 plus shipping. It looks like it's new in the package and it's a uh, the Dukes of Hazard uh, Dodge Charger. So what I do is I list my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Mercari and Poshmark with List Perfectly. Um, if you don't know what List Perfectly is, 
it helps you cross post your items. It makes it so much quicker. I do have a demo video down in the description. You guys can check it out. It's kind of a how-to. It is a how-to. And if you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word. That will get you 30% off your first month. If you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, there's also referral links down there. In the description, you'll get $10 um, credit to shop if you join with my Poshmark referral link, and you'll get $10 if you join with my Mercari. But on Mercari, you also get a bonus $20 when you sell your first $100. So those are all referral links. I appreciate if you use those. Those help me out. I get money to shop on Mercari and Poshmark. Christmas is coming. We can all use free money to shop, right? So now is the time to shine to sign up for Poshmark and Mercari. And one thing that I've told you guys before, but if you're new to my channel, Poshmark and Mercari, and eBay more recently started doing this also. Have you guys got the notification on eBay where the money that's sitting in your pot to be transferred to your account that you can now spend it on eBay? That's what Poshmark and Mercari do. And I always say that that is like a huge thing and a good reason that you should sell on Poshmark and Mercari because a lot of hobby sellers sell on those platforms and they sell on those platforms so that they can use that money to buy from the platform. They use it as a credit just to purchase things. Um, so it's people that are not going to eBay. They're not even looking on eBay. So they're not going to find your item unless it's on Poshmark or Mercari. So that's kind of what I have to say about that. And it looks like eBay is kind of following suit with that. So what do you guys think? Um, I know for me, that money is getting transferred into my bank account. But if you're a hobby seller on eBay, is this something that you like? Is anybody using this new feature? Is this out to everyone? Or is it just kind of something that they're trying out with certain sellers? Let me know down in the comments if anyone is using that. And again, uh, that list perfectly video is down below and all of my links for things I use, okay? Stubbs and Wooten. Stubbs and Wooten, never heard of that. Loafers, picked up at the Goodwill for $5.99 and the buyer paid 112 plus $8 shipping. And this is a Poshmark sale. And I love how they did this photo, you guys, right here. Do you see how it shows the picture and the title? Like one time I posted a picture of a bolo I sold on Poshmark and they're like, what is it? I'm like, what do you mean? It's right there. And then I'm like, oh, it doesn't have the title. So this is very helpful. It looks like it's some sort of needlepoint loafer. Picked up at the Goodwill for a dollar eighter. A dollar eighter. A dollar eighty. Eighter tater. Um, buyer paid sixty plus thirteen shipping. It looks like I have no idea where this sold. Is this maybe grilled? Hmm. I don't know, but it's a boys vintage Carhartt brown canvas zip up fleece. Um, if you are watching, let me know in the comments where you sold this Carhartt. Um, it's a kid's Carhartt, so a dollar eighty into sixty is fantastic. Found this at a thrift store for $7. Really cute. It winds up and her leg comes out of the tub to grab the coin. Sold for $47 in about two weeks. And this comes from Champagne Taste 73. And this is her eBay store. So if you hear me shout out an eBay store or a YouTube channel, that means they are members of my YouTube channel and they get a bonus shout out in this video. Here is another one that she sold. It is a coat sweater in a boat. She got it in a boutique in Virginia Beach. She said, don't remember what I paid for it as I purchased it in the 80s. She just sold it for $55 plus shipping and it is going to California. So this is what it looks like. And the title is just vintage sweater coat, 1980s oatmeal color. Perfect. Sold a vintage 1995 Rare Star Trek The Next Generation figure for $254.95. Most Star Trek figures are $10 to $20, but this one was only available for a very limited time and is one of the rarest in the collection. My dad paid $7.99 for this when it first came out, and we are splitting the profit. Not exactly sure where he bought it, but probably Toys R Us. And it's um, right here, the Star Trek, the Next Generation Redemption Lieutenant Data Red Shirt, very rare. We bought this for 50 cents at a yard sale about a year and a half ago. I originally had it listed for $69. It always had several watchers. I know the price was high, 
but mine was the only one like it at the time. It's so small and it took up no space, so I wouldn't lower my price. About a week ago, I saw a commercial on YouTube for Tech Deck Fingerboards, so I thought maybe they were making a comeback. So I raised my price to $75.99 plus shipping, and it sold on eBay for full asking price in about a week. It is a BAM Margira Element Tech Board Fingerboard Skateboard, $75.99 on that. All right, we've got new member here, Piece of Scrap on YouTube. She is also over on Instagram and her Instagram posts are great as well. So follow her over there. Paid $3.75 at Goodwill, sold on Poshmark for my full asking price of $79 plus shipping. It is a Nike Windbreaker Jacket Vintage. And this is what it looks like. Paid $3.75. Um, on a YouTube auction from Auctions For You. And you guys hear me talk about Donatella Bottolino and Auctions For You. I buy from them on their YouTube auctions. Um, so basically what they do is they have selling events on their YouTube channels where they sell to resellers. They buy like huge wholesale lots and then they wholesale stuff out to resellers. And this is a, um, I believe it's in uh, a record. She said... Paid about $3, sold for full asking price in about six months, sold for $52.48. It's the Miami Sound Machine self-titled 1980, and this is what it looks like. And that one comes from Mom Knows Treasures, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and sub her up. She is fantastic. And let me know in the comments which bolo was your favorite bolo. And if you're new here, tell me how you found the channel. And I would love for you guys to subscribe. So if you're new here and you're subscribing, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for being here and thanks for watching. She paid $3.75 for this at the Goodwill and sold it on po uh, Poshmark for a full... My goodness, let's try this again. 